Nanotechnology is a field of study that promises to give humans the ability to manipulate matter at the atomic scale, moving and assembling anything from a single carbon atom, all the way up to manufacturing large molecules to be used for many different purposes. This technology could give us the incredible ability to build exotic materials at scale, carefully manipulating single layers of carbon into components too small to see but extremely important for taking the next step in materials engineering. The ability to engineer super-thin layers of atoms will lead to many incredible inventions that will revolutionize our daily life. Businesses will thrive in this new environment of materials engineering, but it's not just fabrics that could be created, even machines could exist at the nano scale. What we often consider to be small, such as an insect, is actually a technological marvel containing trillions of atoms, so it stands to reason that if we continue to improve our ability to manipulate materials at the nano scale, we too could one day create tiny machines capable of manipulating the environment. Nano machines could be engineered to eliminate harmful pathogens in the air, to seek out cancerous cells in the blood, and to recycle materials that would otherwise get dumped into a landfill polluting the earth. Seeking a path towards this type of future is too tempting to ignore. But with any new technology comes potential risks. In order to carry out many of the tasks we need to complete, or to manufacture many components at the nano scale, it would take millions and billions of nanomachines working together to assemble these components. For machines this small, it's just too big a task for a few machines to make any progress. So how do you create billions of nanomachines in the most efficient way? Simply give them the ability to replicate themselves, possibly even programming random coding mutations for each subsequent generation, ensuring a sort of resiliency like we see in life, giving the nanomachines the ability to evolve against any unforeseeable obstacle that may present itself. In the example of the nano recycling program, a recycling lab could try to create a nanomachine that decomposes plastic materials found in landfills. This nanomachine would disassemble the garbage, and in the process create another copy of itself, thus speeding up the process and quickly removing all trash that has been dumped, converting it into a contained pool of many nanomachines working together to finish the task at hand. The growth rate of replication would increase exponentially, and in theory the machines would accomplish in a few hours what would take humans a very long time to do. But what happens when the task is never done? What happens when you create a self-replicating nanomachine, that seeks out any biomass or plastic? In a worst-case nightmare scenario these nanomachines would spill over the intended recycling project and into surrounding areas. These self-replicating machines, now loose and able to spread freely would begin replicating at an exponential rate, 10 billion would soon become 20 billion, maybe just a few hours later, if not minutes. Once the runaway effect begins it could develop into a problem that cannot be stopped. Unlike a virus that can be contained with safety precautions or vaccines, nanomachines would obey only the laws of physics and what their program tells them to do they would effectively become a ruthless blanket of tiny killing machines spreading in every single place that has organic components. Buildings made of wood and plastic would crumble into a dark pool containing countless nanobots, eating away at everything like a grey liquid that feasts on life. Calls for emergency measures could prove to be too late, as the exponential growth of the machines begins to cover the entire city, it would eventually spread into the surrounding forests, Grass, insects, and any other organic matter on the ground would provide a path to the next city where the process continues ad infinitum. Within days of the accident starting, all life in the hosting nation could find itself becoming extinct, thousands of years of history and evolution potentially being wiped out by the advancement of technology. As the nanomachines mindlessly spread across national borders with small clumps embedding themselves into the cars, planes, and clothes of people escaping in panic, it would not take very long for the spread to cover the entire globe. 
Attempts to fight off the spread could prove to be futile, everything from fires to nuclear bombs eliminating some, but not all the machines, as they were made to be resilient enough to keep reproducing even if there's only one nano machine left. If we assume that one nano machine replicates every 15 minutes, then after just 10 hours there would be over 60 billion of them. Assuming the same growth rate, after two days the entire Earth would be covered. Once the genie has been released from the bottle it is not going back in. Once Earth reaches a tipping point where the machines outpace our ability to fight them off, it is too late. Billions of years of life destroyed by the desire to push the limits of technology and ending in a giant sea of grey matter undulating like a vast ocean. A stark ending to a species that created a phenomenon that could not be stopped. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content.